Now that we've covered the vertical column on the left hand side that we're going to call tabs, I would like to talk about the horizontal row of buttons that run across most of the pages on the course. They include the syllabus, schedule, modules, grades, help, email instructor, and explore buttons. I'm not going to go into each one in great detail because as part of module 00, the first thing that you're going to do in the class is go through the buttons and read them in their entirety, but I do want to talk about their purpose. The syllabus and grades tab are repeat, I'm sorry, the syllabus and grades buttons are repeat from the tabs that are on the left hand side of the screen. I've included them in both places because they are both incredibly important. Your syllabus is your lifeline in any course and so you need to read through it and you need to make sure that you understand it as uh, an active participant in the class. The grades tab is also very important. You need to make sure that you are comfortable with the grades that you're receiving in the course, that you understand when you get a grade, what the grade is, why you got the grade that it is. If at any time during the semester you're confused and you don't understand why you got an 8 out of 10 on an assignment, you should contact your instructor immediately because there should never be a time where you lose points on something and you don't understand why you lost points. Or better yet, there should never be a point in the semester where you earn points and don't understand why you earned the points. And in Art 1200, that should never happen. And so throughout the semester, if you're confused, contact your teacher so they can help you navigate the grades tab or the grades button, depending on which one you click, um, so that you can feel like you are truly understanding why you're receiving the grades that you're receiving. The additional buttons, and I'm gonna quickly open them in new internet tabs here, so I can show them to you. are the semester schedule at a glance page. We're going to go through this in more detail when we talk about module 00, but I would highly recommend printing this page and using it as a checklist. Then there's the modules button. The modules button redirects you to the main course content of ART 1200. And so when you first log into the class, you're always going to log in. It'll drop you into the home tab. Then if you actually want to do coursework, you're going to have to choose modules and then you'll choose the module that you're currently working on. Maybe you're working on Module 5, so you'll go ahead and you'll click Module 5 so that you can get started. During the first week of the semester, your objective is to finish Module 0 in its entirety. Make sure you're reading through everything that's included. It'll have a little brief paragraph explaining why you're doing something, how long it should take so you can kind of budget your time, a list of objectives that you must complete, and then at the bottom, uh, for module 00, it will say these are the required activities. You must click on these links and do whatever the page is saying. And on the right hand side, these are the list of the required submissions and when they are due by. We'll go into more details about modules when we talk about getting started with module 00. There is a help button that redirects you to a page that I've created that just outlines resources for help. So at any time during the semester, if you're confused and you don't know what to do, when in doubt, click on the Help tab, read through the options that are available, and then make a decision about what you should do. And so you'll see that as one of them, it says, I am your instructor, so I'm kind of your first line of defense. Come to me and ask me for help first, and then if I can't help you, I can help direct you in the right, uh, I can help push you in the right direction. There are other options, but again, we'll cover this in more detail with Module 00. And then the last tab down here is Explore Art. That's just kind of like a fun bonus tab. I've compiled RSS feeds from different websites on the internet that are going to pull content for you that might be useful. The green RSS feed is all information about the visual art and design department here at Salt Lake Community College. So if like an art exhibit is opening or we have a scholarship opportunity, it'll be posted here and you can click on it and it will open a new tab and you can read through the instructions. The orange RSS feed is all about jobs and internships in the graphic arts field. Some will be in Utah, some will be outside of Utah. It's just a giant compiled list, so you can click through that. If, you, if an internship or something comes uh, popping its way through the feed, you can click on it to learn more about it. The blue feed are feeds from art museum exhibits and blogs and things like that. The pink or the, let's call it magenta since I'm a commercial printer. Uh, the magenta feed is all about art related things in the news. So the difference between the blue one and the pink one is 
The blue one's about exhibits at museums specifically. The pink one is just a news feed. Anything that's relating to art and design might pop up there. The teal feed is all about Salt Lake Community College as a general college. And so there might be things that pop up about, in this example, Natural Poetry Writing Month at Salt Lake Community College. Maybe there's a basketball game on Friday night and there might be information about that. And then my favorite one is the last one, which is information about Adobe from Adobe. And so I've compiled RSS feeds that are going to pick up tutorials, news articles, and things like that from Adobe themselves. Okay, before you move on to the next video, I would like you to click through these buttons and make sure that you feel comfortable that when you click on them, you know what to expect and where to go if you need help or you want to check the schedule, etc. When you feel comfortable with that, move on to the next video and we'll start talking about how to really get started in the course by completing module 00.